Welcome to Highline Office 2016 video number three. Hey, in this video, we're going to build a logical system of folders to manage files. The files we'll be managing are all the files for our class and all the files from your other classes at Highline. Now, the way we'll do that, of course, is using Windows Explorer. Now, before we talk about what we're going to do for our system of folders, I want to show you an example of a system of folders that I use for all my classes at Highline. Now, I've already opened up Windows Explorer. I can see it highlighted here on the taskbar. So I'm going to click. And here on the left is my drive for all of my classes. Now, I create a lot of different classes each quarter, and I've been doing it for over 10 years. So I have over 100,000 files that I have to manage. So you can imagine trying to find a given file at any time is difficult, unless you use a logical system of folders. So video class storage main, I'm going to click the triangle and expose a number of folders. Right at the top, video class storage, I'm going to click the triangle to open. And there, that's a lot of classes and folders. Now, I want to go down to Business 216. Notice I named it smartly. So anytime I'm looking for a Business 216 file, I can look inside here. Click the Expand Triangle. 2013, this folder contains all the files for the Office 2013 class. This is ours, 2016. Now, I want to look at 2013. Click the Expand Triangle. Down here is Content. I click that. And notice I organized it exactly like the order in which we study. So within Windows Explorer, I click the triangle. There is a folder for handouts. These are all the handouts that you download. Here's all of the start files. We don't have any for Windows Explorer, but later for Word and Excel we will. Homework solutions, there's none for this particular section. So it's empty. But I can, at any time, if I want to find a handout for Excel, I go over to the Excel. Look at all those videos. I'm going to click on the Handout folder. And then notice they're numbered smartly. So I can quickly find whichever handout is associated with the number of the video. All of this is an example of naming files smartly and creating a system of folders. Now I'm going to close this, either the red X, or I can use Alt F4 to close the active window. Now if we're thinking about Highline College, we might create a top folder that says Highline College. Then instead of dumping all of our files for every one of our classes in every quarter into Highline College, inside we'll create a folder for Fall 2013, Winter 2018. Now I'm actually filming this video in Fall 2017. You may be in a completely different quarter. But you get the idea. Smartly name our folder for each quarter you're going to be here at Highline. Then within each one of the quarter folders, we'll create our individual class folders. Now I'm going to close this by using the red X or Alt F4. And let's put our jump drive in. And just like last video we saw when we put a jump drive in on most computers, it's polite. It says Open Folder to View Files using Windows Explorer. So I'm going to click that to open Windows Explorer. Now, this is video number three. Video number one and two, we actually created some folders. So jump drive selected. We created a folder called 01 Excel files, 02 Word files. We downloaded pictures from our phone, or at least I did as an example. And we learned how to zip a folder. So if I click back on the top drive, that's your jump drive or thumb drive, we can see all of our folders over here. Right in this white area, we're going to start creating our system of folders. Now, if I need to create a folder, remember the important rule is select on the left the drive or folder you want the folder to go inside of. So now with that selected, we're going to use our keyboard to create a new folder, Control-Shift-N. Now it's polite. It has it highlighted. We're simply going to start typing. Don't hit Delete. Just start typing Highline. Now I hit Enter, and now I have a new folder. 
immediately over on the left, I can see that it says Highline. Now, if I want folders inside there, I need to very carefully, on the left, select it. Once it's selected on the left, when I use the keyboard to create our folder, it knows that it should go inside of this. So now it's highlighted on the left, Control-Shift-N. Now I'm going to type Fall 2017. But remember, you might be in a completely different quarter. So whatever quarter you are in, you type that quarter. Now I'm going to hit Enter. Now notice, what did I do? On the keyboard with my fingers, I typed Fall 2017. Then I hit Enter. Instead of taking your mouse and coming up, that means removing your hand from the keyboard and grabbing the mouse and clicking New Folder, it is more efficient to simply use the keyboard, Control-Shift-N. Now, I use Control-Shift-N to create this folder. But remember, I didn't have to click anywhere over here because I was already in the location where the folder was supposed to go. So now with this highlighted, I'm going to type Winter 2018, Enter. Control-Shift-N, Spring 2018, Enter, Control-Shift-N, Summer 2018, Enter, Control-Shift-N, Fall 2018, and Enter. Now, you might want to create many more folders, and many students throughout the years taking this class say that this was very helpful, and they added more folders and kept track of everything here at Highline. Now, what happens if I come up to the Name column and click? Well, it sorts A to Z, and then I click again. It sorts Z to A. I do not want it in this order. I want Fall 2018. Actually, if I click again, I want Fall 2017 at the top, and this one at the very bottom. That's where numbering at the very front can help you to sort and organize in the correct order. Now, we're doing this for folders. You could equally do it for files also. So just as we did last video, when I select a folder or a file, I can use the keyboard F2 to rename it. And just like last video, we learned the Home key shoots our cursor to the front of the line. I'm going to type 01 and space. When I hit Enter, I have renamed it. Now, I could take my mouse and click on this and then do F2 to rename it. But I can simply use the arrow keys on the navigation area of my standard keyboard or wherever your arrow key is. And I can use F2 to rename it, Home to jump to the beginning, 05 space and Enter. Now, I'm going to do that for the rest of these, down arrow, F2 Home. This one should be the third one, so I type 0, 3, space, and Enter. Down arrow, F2 Home. Summer is the fourth one, so 0, 4, space. Enter, down arrow, F2 Home, 0, 2, space, and Enter. Now if we look on the left, there is now a triangle for Highline because we have folders inside of it. So I can click the triangle, and sure enough, it's sorted perfectly. We know from the last couple of videos that this doesn't immediately sort, but we can sort by clicking on Name twice, and now we are in exactly the correct order. Now, you might ask, why are we doing 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3? The reason why is because if we have more than 10, 1 and 10 would be sorted right next to each other instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, for this example here, we don't have more than 10 files. So you could use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But that's a smart convention. If you had more than 100, then you'd have to put 0, 0, 1, and so on. Now, inside each one of these folders, we want to create three classes. So again, if we want something inside of here, we come over to the left. I'm clicking on 01 Fall 2017. Now I'm going to do Control-Shift-N, and there we go. I'm going to type generic names for the time being, so Class 1 and Enter. Control-Shift-N, Class 2 and Enter. Whoops, F2. And I'm going to use my arrow keys to add that second S. Enter. Control-Shift-N, Class 3. I got both of the S's now, and Enter. Now, I'm going to use these same three folders inside of each one of these 
And I do not want to recreate these. So watch this. I want to highlight 03. So I select the first one before clicking on the last one. I hold Shift, click on the last one. Control C is copy. All right, I've copied those. Now I want them inside of each one of these. So watch. Remember, if we create new folders, we have to click on the left. But now what happens when I Control V? Sure enough, now inside of Winter 2018, there are our class one, two, three folders. So now I simply click on Spring, Control V. I can see them over here. Click on Summer, Control V. Look at that. Click on Fall, Control V. So just like that, if I use my Expand Triangle, I can see quickly I'm starting to see my system of folders emerge. Now, for all future quarters, I'm simply going to leave class 1 to 3, and then later you can change those. But we need to work on fall. So I'm going to click on 01 fall, come over here, F2 to rename it. And I want business 216 always on the top, so I'm going to type 01 business. You know, in this case, we're never going to take more than 10 classes. So I'm simply going to put 1 business 216 and Enter. Now I'm going to down arrow, and for whatever classes you have, add names to these. If you only have one class, just make up some names. But for this particular fall folder, we want one, two, three different class names. F2, and this will be 2, 210, that is statistics. Down arrow, F2, 3, and then business 218, that's the class you take after business 216. This is all Office, that's advanced Excel. Now I hit Enter. Now I can see over here on the left, my folders are starting to emerge. We are going to work inside of one Business 2016. Now inside Business 216 folder, I want two folders. One for video files. That means all of the files, like the PDFs, and when we get to Excel, there'll be Excel files. All the files for each video. Then I want a second folder for tests. So with one business 216 selected, I'm going to use Control Shift N. 01 video files and enter. Control Shift N. 02 tests and enter. Now inside of each one of these, we want some subfolders. So look at that. There's our expand triangle. I click. I want to put folders inside of 01 video files. So I select it, Control Shift N. Now we're going to have one folder for each one of the programs we study. So I'm going to keep them in order 01, Windows Explorer, and Enter. Control Shift N. O2 Word, Enter. Control Shift N. O3 PowerPoint, Enter. Control Shift N for Excel, Enter. Control Shift N, 05 Access, and Enter. Now, if we come over to the left, I can click that Expand button. And wow, I already feel more organized. Now I'm going to click on O2 Tests. And inside here, Control Shift N. Now, this is going to be very important. I'm going to type. Test 01 space dash. And when I write your name, you have to put your actual name. So I'm going to backspace. My name is Michael Gervin, so I write that. Now, you're actually going to end up handing the system of folders in as a zipped folder for test number one. So this has to be named correctly. Right? So if your name's Sue Rad Coolinator, it should say test one dash Sue Rad Coolinator. And enter. Now I'm going to create the next one. Control Shift N. Test O2, your name. Enter. Control Shift N. Test O3. Your name. Enter. Control Control Shift N. Test O4. Your name. And enter. If I come over here and click the Expand, there's our system of folders. So there is our finished, complete system of folders there that I can see. 
Now, test number one really isn't a test. It, all it is is it's like free 25 points. For that test, you will get an email with a Word document attachment. Actually, you will get that email for each one of these tests. And it will have instructions. But for the first one, it's like free 25 points. All I will say is please zip this entire folder and submit it for 25 points. So of course, if I want to zip it, as we saw in the last video, I select the top drive. There's the folder. Remember, there's all those folders inside of it. And then you do, just as we did last video, right click, Send to Compress folder. All right, I'm not going to do that right now. That'll be your test. Because actually, I want to download three files that should be included in your test one zipped system of folders. Remember 01 Windows Explorer? These are the video files. Let's go to our class website. The base site is people.highline.edu slash mgervin. Go to Business 216, Windows Explorer, and there's the PDF. Now, PDFs, as we talked about in the last couple of videos, if I just click on it, it just opens in the browser. So I'm going to click the Back button. Right click, and depending on which browser you're using, you'll see a different Save As, Save Link As, or Save File As. Now, I'm going to click Save Link As, and I want you to notice that this comes up. This is the Save As. I should have showed you this last video. The default settings for Chrome does not ask you politely where you want to save it. So let me show you how to change that in Chrome. I go up to the right-hand corner and click the dot, 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 down to Settings. Then in Settings, I come over to this little button right here, click Settings and down to Advanced, and there it is, Downloads. To me, that doesn't seem very obvious that you have to go that deep. But there it is. That's what you can click in Chrome. And simply, it comes by default like this. Ask where to save each file before downloading. Let's always, you should do this all the time, because we don't always want to send them to the default location, which is My Documents. We want to have the power to save them wherever we want. So I change that, and so that will be a setting. Now, when you, if you're using Chrome, if you come right click Save Link As, it will be polite and ask you the three things about Save As. Where do you want to save it? I'm going to expand. There's my high line, Fall 2017, or whichever quarter you're in. Business 216, Video Files. And there it is. I already feel better organized knowing these notes for Windows Explorer are going to my Business 216, Video Files, Windows Explorer. So now I can click Save. Now it'll be polite once I've saved it to that drill down location. If I come here, right click Save Link As, look at that. I can't see it expanded here, but up in the address bar, there it is, 01 Windows Explorer. Now I click Save. Now I'm shooting this video right here, so the third handout, which will be listed right here, is not listed. But you can download that one also. Now I'm going to close this browser, either the red X or Alt F4. And sure enough, I'm going to use Windows Explorer to verify that the downloaded files are in the correct location. Double click to best fit so you can read those long file names. All right, so in this video, we saw how to create a logical system of folders. In our case, we created it for Highline College with different quarters and different classes. And then in Business 216, we created video files and tests, and even downloaded so far two files. There'll be three files. When you zip this and upload it for 25 free points for test number one. All right, now that's the last video for Windows Explorer. There's three videos. This is the third one. Next video, we'll start studying Word. All right, we'll see you next video.